Hey guys, it's Luch. I just finished watching the Mary J. Blige documentary called My Life with Ditch, who really loved it and felt empowered by it. Hi. It's a documentary that explores her darkness and she is not afraid to be vulnerable. She's not afraid to be dark. She's, her lyrics are incredibly personal and I've never seen in my life a documentary in which the fans feed off of the artist as much as they do in this. If you're here tonight and you're a Mary J. Blige fan, you have been tested, you have been tried, and you have been proven. It's literally, I mean, I can't even imagine what this is like where after a show, she's got people coming up to her and saying, you saved my life. I was gonna commit suicide. I listened to this record and it changed my mind. She still struggles. She's, you know, hasn't found the answer. But what started as just maybe, you know, young love and heartbreak, she just started writing and writing in just the most real. It's not metaphorical. It's just like a diary. And uh, she got her started. It's crazy. She, she lived in a really crummy place, the projects, and she went through so much abuse and just got tough. She even said, I, I made a pact that I was not going to smile when I was a teenager. There's no pictures of me smiling because somebody could always take that away. And she went into a mall and they had like a uh, like little makeshift recording studio. You could go in there and then make a cassette tape of a song. And she sang an Anita Baker tune. And then her mom's boyfriend or something knew somebody. It was a crazy connection. And somehow it got into the hands of Puffy. And Puffy was blown away and was like, this is, she's got something. She's raw. She's got a scar. She could kick your ass and she has that growl and it's it's r and it's soul but then there's something uplifting about it too but lyrically it's still really dark and her first record was was huge what's the 411 and had so many hits on it and maybe it was not even the right presentation of who she really was because it, it showed her as just like, um, I'm sort of like a, you know, I'm going to dance in cool clothes and I'm happy all the time. And that was not the case. So the documentary just kind of goes through her career and, and speaks with her and her fans. Her fans talk about what records touch their lives. And like I said, it's a really profound thing to see. And for her, just to look at her face when she's meeting with fans who shares some of these incredibly intimate details of their life. I would think that's incredibly uncomfortable, but she does it for the fans. That's what she says she's writing music for the fans and to keep her alive. She keeps saying, I'm fighting for my heart. I've had to physically fight for my life a lot because just like my mom, I'm a fighter. My mom had to suffer a lot of physical abuse as well. So as a little girl, I saw her, this little woman fighting. So when it all started to happen to me, all I could think about was my mom. Mm -hmm. Time on my hand since you've been away, boy. It's a pretty powerful documentary. I think it'll lift you up. Not just the ladies. It's uh, It's got a message of you know, you got to feel it to deal with it. And it's, uh, she's a vulnerable and yet very, very strong woman. It's Mary J. Blige. This is my life.